Capri, thank you. Clearly they're doing a lot of really good work. All right now, the Vail Food Bank is also asking for help to fill the need in our community. They're holding a food drive, hoping to fill their shelves. Blake Phillips Bob stopped by to find out how you can make a difference. Well, these shelves here at the Resources Vale Community Food Bank are usually full with food donated by the public. But as you can see, some of the shelf space and these baskets are empty. And that's why the community is coming together for a food drive. Every day we're seeing 40 to 50 clients. Tucked behind the Vale Chamber of Commerce is the Resources Vale Community Food Bank, a place some people in the Vale community may not know is there. It's our job to ensure that the clients um, have regional access to their food. Callie Tippett is the Director of Developmental and Community Outreach at Greater Vale Community Resources, who operates the food bank. Right now the bank is running a food drive, which is at an unusual time of year as compared to years past when they're usually held during the holidays. Something that we've noticed over the last two years is we're actually receiving less less food each year um, as part of our holiday food drive. But their goal is simple, to fill the shelves and get food in the hands of people who need it most. And we do serve, serve families who are desperate, but we also serve families who are just right there. Tippett is one of just five paid employees in their organization, which means a majority of their operation is run by volunteers like Laura Guile. I felt like it was time to give back to my community and um, I had been a client of a food bank when my children were very young. Guile helps out every Tuesday as part of the over 18,000 volunteer hours the Greater Vale Community Resources uses a year. And they're here um, like they have a job. They show up every week at the same time for their shift. In Vale, I'm Blake Phillips, KGUN 9. Pretty incredible to see so many people who are so dedicated yeah. to helping the greater good. It's great to see too, you know, in, in this chapter of life for, for Laura, for example, before she was benefiting, you know, because neighbors were looking out for her mm -hmm. and now it's time to make sure they have access to this food. If you're struggling already or you're on the borderline of just wanting that kind of community support. Yeah, that's pretty impressive.